Hey beautiful people, it is Magda Civil using the cable machine to target my glutes and my hips. I find that using this machine helps to target different muscle areas in the glutes and the hips. I've already taken out my shoes to make it easier to slide my foot inside of this handle. Most gyms will provide that instead of providing the ankle clefts to perform the glute and the hip movements. This is another one of my favorite exercises, performing four sets of 10 reps each leg, no rest in between. The rest periods will be in the transitional phases, switching from one leg to the next. It's important to keep the torso upright, controlling the leg. The movement is slow and controlled. This is another variation to do while using the cable machine, the cable kickbacks. I'm going to be showing you two different variations. One, showing you this movement, just kicking the leg back while the torso is upright, controlling the movement, not leaning forward, just staying upright. And the second movement is going to be a cable kickback pulse, just kicking and pulsing my leg. Performing 30 reps of the cable kickback pulses. Now I'm gonna have Sydney perform this movement to show you how simple this movement is. First preparing to slide her foot into the handle by taking her shoes off. We set the weight to a comfortable but yet challenging weight while she controlled the movement, feeling the burn on the outer and inner thigh at the same time. Now switching to the cable kickback pulses to feel the burn more so in the glutes. Notice while Sydney is performing this movement, there's no excessive leaning to her right or the left side. Her core is upright. And also while performing the cable kickbacks, her core is upright. There's no excessive leaning forward. Another tip when performing the cable hips and the glute exercises, the hand should not be anywhere near the moving cable. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm Magda Civil. Take care.